Hello, hello there everybody. Six years ago, I got myself a plot. That ain't it. Well, that's what it looked like. Rambles halfway down. As I said, that was six years ago. Now, this is my plot. It's my first time putting a clip on YouTube, so I hope it turns out okay. I've come down today, day off. It's the 19th of April. And I just thought I'd come down and show you what I've done and what I'm going to do. I've got raised beds on my plot. I uh, know some people will say that they're not very good good because they're not the soil doesn't come right up you know but these raised beds are made out of recycled plastic they warm up in the sun the actual plastic itself which generates the heat into the bed and I think they're I like them easy don't get much weeds in there and I've been very successful. So, just take you for a little journey around mine. I've just planted a new rhubarb. If you can see that down there, hopefully that will come on. And that's my other rhubarb. I grow comfrey, some there, all along. What I do is I take the leaves off them and make my own comfrey tea or I put it in my compost bin as an accelerant. So here we go. Alright. Got onions there. Red variety. I think they were red barren, I'm not too sure. But they were planted last October. Here is my garlic which I plant in the autumn if you don't then you won't get the cloves you can just have one big bulb here's my elephant garlic They're coming on very nicely First time I planted that, so that's good. I put the wire mesh down because we get do get a lot of cats around here that tend to come and do their business all over the place. Right here, I've got a, my cage, and I do grow my corn on the cob in there. We have a few badgers around here, and badgers love corn on the cob. Touchwood, it's been okay so far. Beds. I will be doing some sewing today. And these beds here are for my exhibition veg. A big one there for the cabbages. Last year I came first with a giant cabbage. So hopefully I'd like to go bigger. Some more onions. This is a Japanese variety. Senshui. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and some more garlic. Here's my pea bed. I should have grown my peas up. My runner bean poles there. And some more beds. Let me take a little journey here. This is my parsnips. Now I, I, I put some parsnips in a row. Just one row, just to see how they come up, and they are actually coming up. I don't know if you can see them there. Oh, some cherry trees. Do have a number of trees. There's a pear, fig. And apple. 
Here I've got my winter savoys. Really nice and tasty. I've had a couple. Around here. And here we have my purple sprouting broccoli. It's coming on very nicely. Now this patch here is a bit wild, but I don't want to dig it up because there's a wild flower that comes up there every year. And it's a lovely little thing. There's my roses. My grapevine. Just recently done a little thing for it to climb up there. It's my shed. I actually built my shed. Me and my uncle. It's my decking, which I need to paint. And the greenhouse. We'll take you into there. So at the moment, come down today to do some weeding and to feed the soil a bit. I'm actually going to do some planting. It's a bit, a bit busy in here at the moment, but get on with my pile planting and that. Right here, I've got my Californian pass sweet pass. Uh, Parsnips, sweet peppers, some very hot chilies. There's a ghost chili there, and here I've got a Butte Jalokia, the Trinidad Scorpion, and the Marugu Maruga. Very hot indeed. I'll plant them in a minute. There's my first earlies coming on nicely and giant gladioli. And I grew them last year and I kid you not, they were over six foot tall. <laughs> so, mm. and there's, you can't see it because it's undercover, but it's my lemon tree. I had some nice lemons on that last year. So, right. Some major planting to do in there. Let's come around here. There's my sweet peas. It's a blue variety. Coming on nicely there. And here is my competition parsnips. If you can see in there, coming on. There. Now, what I do is I grow these in barrels to get the length. So I fill the barrel with sharp sand, let it settle for a little while, okay, then I get a bit of drain pipe, actually push it into the sand, right down as far as I can go, maybe tap it a bit with a, a sledge, pull the sand out that's in the tube, dump it into the other barrel, then get a hoe, Turn it upside down, ram it into the hole, straight down, push it into the soil so you've got a bit more depth. Then I get a cone, push it in, fill up with my mixture, get a cane, tap it in a little bit just to make sure it's all falling to the bottom. And there you have it. So I'm going to put some more in there soon, in a minute. Just pan around. Just 
take you to I'll just show you a couple of the feeds that I use. Vitax Q4. I do use that for the potatoes in the barrel in the tubs. I use a high nitrogen for my large cauliflowers. The super phosphate I use for the carrots and then the seaweed I use like for tomatoes and um, let's have a look the leeks and things like that and of course I've got the potato fertiliser as well there I do like the Vitax I think they're a good good variety to use right, I'll just lay these down a minute I don't want them to fall over there so I'm at the back here just got some my wood pile <laughs> and this is where I grow well, dry, sorry. Dry me onions in the summer. So there you have it, folks. Hope you watch my little clip. Hope I've said and done, shown you, you know, little bits. I will come on again, show you the progress. But as a first timer, I hope everything's gone okay. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you or I hope you watch again. So, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.